I still can't figure out what the chat room name is. So. Oh, we have a uh, what the what? Go into America. That's what the slide nine says. Creepy. I just solved it! Hey I everyone, so yesterday, if you have been living under a rock, Bungie announced their brand new version of Marathon, which we don't know when it's coming out, but they at least started their marketing campaign for it and were letting us know a little bit about the game. Now, at this point in the trailer that just showed, there's a little silky wormy boy, and he has a QR code on his forehead. And um, that didn't end up playing into the ARG I'm gonna be talking about, but it at least let us know that there were deeper ARG elements going on here. And in fact, I'm gonna be talking about an ARG that we managed to solve yesterday that unlocked the Vidoc for Marathon, but um, there's actually still a lot of secrets. So if you wanna know more about those, there's actually a Google Doc that I can leave down in the description, um, pretty much breaking down everything, uh, everything that we've solved, everything that we haven't solved, all of the puzzles, how they were solved, things like that. Uh, so really awesome stuff uh, put together by some of the people I'm gonna be talking about today. So um, I do wanna note that I was lucky enough to make the very final discovery and solve the very final thing, but, this was a group effort by all of these people um, and I don't want to like take any of their credit and stuff. So like for instance, Hex Cody did a lot of the work with like the images and um, at least like manipulating them and trying to solve things other ways and he's really good at data collection and that sort of stuff. And uh, Riot's the one who invited me in the first place and there's just a lot of really great people here and uh, I just don't want to overshadow them at all. But essentially what happened is, so we started looking for ARG elements yesterday, right? And then some of the devs started tweeting out these weird pictures and they all looked kind of the same. They all had those pluses here that kind of you could use to align them and they all had the logo and they all had uh, some of this text. But what was different were like the numbers, the dots and the text up here. Um, and it says, you can see question mark of 12 uh, layers, right? And so very early on, we were like, oh yeah, we're probably looking for 12. So I think there were like three devs that tweeted some of these out. Um, then if you go to like the actual marathon site, there ended up being one as well that you could just copy paste. And then some creators started getting stuff. So like uh, Dr. Lupo, um, DJ, uh, and then uh, Darkness, I believe, they got like these cards. And so we had to scan them and overlay them as well. And essentially there ended up being 12 of these cards. And when you overlay them, this is my version of it, you get, uh, you know, kind of a more complete idea of what's going on. And you can tell because there's more complete text here. Any other uh, un unauthorized distribution of the, we never really figured out what that is, uh, subject to questioning and, um, and anyway, it just says stuff. It's it, it, We got the more complete picture, but that's not really important to the puzzle. Uh, we ended up with these dots and these numbers. Um, and originally what we thought was that we would actually have to use this with this decoder. So all of the content creators, I think Dr. Lupo actually has a better picture of it. Yeah, um, ended up getting these kind of like decoder cards too. Uh, that's the front, that's the back, and it has the same numbers and everything. And so for a long time, we were very, very, very set on trying to figure out how to use that to decode this. Um, and so a lot of the team was kind of focused on that. But at that same time, when, you know, while we were working on that, uh, there's another account that was tweeting. And so uh, if we go to, give me a second. So if we go to the Marathon The Game account, people started noticing that they're only following two people, Bungie and this account called Mida, which is, I guess, one of the main factions in the Marathon universe. Um, and if you go to Mida, their Twitter account, they started tweeting out clues yesterday. And so um, once we got like the entire picture, they were clearly watching us because they ended up tweeting, we gave you the tools, you've completed the code, but a cipher evades you, maybe it's time to clock out. And that's a clue. Um, and so everyone was kind of using the punch card and it occurred to me that, you know, or the, the metal decipher thing, um, but you know, clock out, might refer to a punch card. And if you guys don't know, IBM 
were some of the first to develop ways to store data in binary, and it was by using paper punch cards. And so um, they would just have paper with like grids on them and you'd punch holes and like not without holes, I think it would be a one. And if there was a hole, it would be a zero. And it was like the very, very first ways that I'm aware of at least to start storing data in a binary fashion. And started thinking about that. I actually got really lucky because I just did a report uh, or a presentation in grad school. It was like the last thing I presented before I left. It was kind of one of our fun talks to learn more about just how things work, right? And uh, so the combination of that and I started looking at this uh, and I was like, yeah, that could actually kind of work. And so what I did is I took this image and I put it into, or actually, uh, no, I, I took that image and I put it into, let me find it a punch card decoder. And so how this works, um, you essentially want to align the grids with the plus marks. And so it was kind of every time there's an intersection of the X and Y grid here, it's reading. So this one lands on green. So I believe that'll be a zero. Yeah. And then the black, 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 green, black. So one, 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 zero, one. And then it just reads binary all the way across. And you just have to decipher how many columns there are, which I use the numbers to do because just put a line everywhere there's a number. Um, and then how many rows. And we know that there's 12 rows of green dots. And so I essentially, I set that up, um, hit submit, got super lucky that I lined it up perfectly the first time. And it came out with secretsarewaiting.com. And when you go to that, it was, I don't know what it is anymore. Okay, it's the it's the Vidoc now. But when we went to it last night, it was a uh, unlisted stream that said that it needed 7,777 um, entries or something like that. And we noticed the number was moving with the number of people in the stream. And so we had to get 7,777 people in that stream, uh, unlisted YouTube stream. And when we did, it unlocked the full Vidoc. So that's how that entire thing worked. It was a lot of fun. Like I mentioned, there are still other puzzles that we're working on, but I wanted to kind of break down this one. So uh, I'm definitely going to be covering Marathon, solving other puzzles and playing this game because it looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and share with your friends. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so I'd very much appreciate if you consider subscribing. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next one.